Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you all things prom related from makeup to hair to the must have dresses. Let's start with makeup. I'm mixing a pump of my two favorites, the Nuance Foundation in the color Medium Deep Warm and the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the color Caramel. I normally use my Kabuki brush to apply this, but for prom night, I wanted to have a little bit thicker coverage. So do whatever makes you comfortable though. Now let's move on to some highlighting. I'm applying my Rimmel Liquid Mousse Foundation in the color True Nude under my eyes, on my eyelids, forehead, and chin. I'm just using my finger to apply it on my face and then I'm blending it in with my dampened Real Technique sponge. To set that, I'm just taking my light NYX Define and Refine powder and using a pressed powder applicator to apply that. This makes everything look and feel so much smoother. Next, I'm just going in with my RCMA palette to contour my face. If you haven't seen my video all about how to contour and highlight for beginners, be sure to check that out so you can get a nice breakdown of how I contour. For all over face powder and to kind of set everything, I'm using my favorite L'Oreal True Match powder. This is in the color Classic Tan. Now I just want to add a little more dimension to that contour, so I'm taking the bronze color in my Crown Blush Bronze Illuminate palette and sweeping that above the contour lines we just created. Onto the eyebrows, my routine has not changed since my last makeup tutorial. Just going through with my brown eyeliner on the bottom line, filling them in with a brown eyeshadow, lining the top with my RCMA cream color, the darkest brown, and then I'm creating a lift with the lighter shade in that same RCMA palette. I wanted to see what it would look like if I was blending this with my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, and I did like it, but I think the warmth of my finger helps blend that inner corner in more, so I kind of did both techniques. Anyway, moving on to the nose contour, this is also in my highlight contour for beginners video so just check that out if you want to learn some of my tips now normally when I apply that liquid mousse foundation under my eyes I'll put some down the bridge of my nose but for some reason I accidentally forgot in this video so I'm just using my true blend fix stick to fix that darker area on the bridge of my nose now let's move on to eyeshadow I'm first taking the shimmery nude tone in the Sigma warm neutrals palette and applying that all over my lid then I'm taking the color above that and blending it in the crease with with my tapered blending brush. I'm then moving over to my Kat Von D Interstellar palette and using that black on the outer crease of my eye. Since the colors in this palette blend really easily, I just put the black in one spot and then use my blending brush to sweep it in and create a light smoky effect. My camera actually shut off when I did this, but I wanted to show you guys that I applied some of that Stilazi Pearl shadow in the inner corners of my eyes. Now I wanted a little more darkness on the outer corners of my eyes, so I'm using this glittery black color from my little mini Wet n Wild palette and I'm really just blending that on the outer crease. For eyeliner, I'm using my Sigma Gel Liner that I'm obsessed with. It makes it so easy to achieve even looking wings. You guys know how difficult it is to try and get even looking wings. Um, but I'm not making that line too thick, but I am dragging it out a bit. So this is just what the wing looks like. Next, let's move on to mascara. I'm using the Rimmel Super Curler Mascara. Now, the thing about this mascara is that it doesn't add a lot of length, but the wand does give your lashes like a really good curl effect while making sure each lash is equally coated. So that is what I do like about it. I will be adding lashes to this look, which is why I didn't add 500 mascaras like I normally do. These are just the Ardell Wispy Lashes, and I used the black glue so that it would blend in with my eyeliner well. To add a little highlight on my nose, I'm using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Cashmere. Just blend Blending that up with my finger. Moving back to the eyes, I'm adding some eyeliner on my bottom lash line. This is just my L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner Pencil, and then I'm blending that line out with the remaining black eyeshadow that I had on that brush that I used on my crease. Now on my cheeks, I'm using the Alima Pure Satin Matte Blush. I'm just doing a light coat, but it is a very buildable product, so if you want more of a rosy look, you can totally add more. And then I'm taking my fan brush to apply some of that same Stilazi Pearl shadow on top of the contour. When it comes to prom, you should definitely have that high like popping girl. We're almost done, we just need to do the lips. I'm using my Milani Teddy Bear Lipstick as a base color. And then on top of that, I'm adding this gorgeous nude mauve gloss. This color is Coco from Bite Beauty. I tested it out in Sephora and absolutely loved it, so of course I had to buy it. It's about $22, and what's really cool about this gloss formula is that it actually includes real fruit ingredients, so it tastes amazing. So if you're gonna kiss anyone prom night, 
they're gonna love you because your lips are delicious. So we're done with the face. I recommend using a setting spray so that it stays flawless all night long. Let's move on to this hair. I'm actually wearing my unit from my first wig because I filmed this a few days before getting my hair lightened and I wanted to give my hair a break before it was like super damaged. So that's why I'm using a wig, but you totally don't need a wig to achieve this look. So I'm using my favorite vibrating straightener from Bio Ionic. If you have not seen that review, I'll put that in the description box below as well. Now I've pulled out the hair onto one side, but left the front pieces of my natural hair forward. So I'm just curling this on one side and leaving it as is. And on the other side, I'm gathering up um, the top section and pulling it back. I'm taking my comb to smoothen out that a bit and then I'm just gonna bobby pin it in the back. Now I'm gathering the rest of the hair and twisting it to create a low bun. You can totally do like a low ponytail or a side braid would be really cute, but I just wanted to do like a low semi messy bun. Um, so after securing that with a hair tie, you can see some pieces tried to break free. I said, <laughs> no. So I'm just gathering that again together and then just bobby pinning that up in the back. Now if you have super heavy hair, the bun is probably gonna like look loose like this so all you have to do is grab pieces of the bun and pin them up so that the bun is more secure and in place that is pretty much all for this hair it's a very simple elegant um, look and you can do it yourself I also recommend setting your hair with a holding spray so that the style will stay all night long for jewelry I'm adding these beautiful silver chandelier earrings they're also from Windsor they look great with any updo that you do and for shoes I'm actually wearing these nude ankle strap heels they're perfect they're from Target hello and they're so comfortable you guys have seen these on snapchat a million times I'm obsessed with them so now the moment you've all been waiting for the dresses <laughs> This first one is called the Hannah White two-piece dress. The top has a beautiful lace overlay with jewels accenting the collar. Um, the skirt is white with cool shades like petal-like prints all over it. And the top band of the skirt also has the jewels, so your waist is popping, girl. But wait, there's more. This next dress is also a two-piece set. It's a gorgeous blush color that will definitely make you feel like a princess. This is the Brit Pink Tool two-piece dress. The top has a high neck with lace all over. There's a sweetheart cutout so you can see more of the lace on your chest. And there are beautiful sequins all sewn throughout the top to give you the right amount of shine. The skirt piece is made out of tulle, which is key to making you feel like a real princess or fairy. And the band of the skirt also has the sequin lace. So there's a bit of stretch in there, um, which is easy to move around in. So you want to know how you you can win one of these prom dresses. There are just a few rules and it's really easy to enter. First, you must be a subscriber. So if you haven't already, be sure to click that red subscribe button to my channel. Second, follow Windsor on Instagram at Windsor Store. They always post amazing outfit pictures to give you daily inspiration. And the third and final rule is just to leave a comment below in the following format. My favorite song to dance to is blank. Easy, right? I just wanna know what you guys are gonna be getting down to on the dance floor, to be honest. <laughs> please only leave one comment. You can have multiple favorite songs, but please only one comment per user. I'll be choosing the winner at random on March 24th at 11, 11 a.m. I will be messaging the winner that day, so be sure to check your inbox messages. I'll also post the winner's name on my Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook page, so you'll all be informed. So that is all for this prom video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll put everything in the description box as well, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Good luck. Bye, y'all.